song that I wrote for my young son. And I love Hashem, I love Hashem, I love Hashem for He is good to me. And I love Hashem, I love Hashem, I love Hashem for He is good to me. And He made me with the world for a toy and gave me two arms to be strong and gave me a book into which I could look so that I could learn right from wrong and he gave me my brother father me a heart for to feel and gave me my name shortly after I came so I wouldn't be you I be me and I love Hashem I love Hashem I love Hashem So that I could hear And gave me a body for my clothes And gave me two lips So that I could sip And a face where to put on my nose And he gave me a tooth Put it in a booth And gave Cause he cared and gave me two feet to make me complete and a head to know which end goes in a chair and I love Hashem I love Hashem I love Hashem for he's good to me said it's all right if I grow and gave me some hair let it grow everywhere and even gave me my big toe and he gave me a brain to stay out of the rain and gave me a heart for to feel enjoyed that. It's a song I wrote for my son. My son was born 44 years ago. Uh, we were blessed with a beautiful girl first. It took three years. And then for five years we uh, tried to have a child again. And 
didn't seem to work. And um, we put him for adoption. And sure enough, once we put him for adoption, my wife got pregnant. And I was in the delivery room and I thought for sure I'd have another girl. And I was amazed when the doctor said it was a boy. And it changed my whole life. I walked out of that delivery room. And I know I've been a Balchuba for 44 years. Again, a Balchuba returning Jew. And I wanted to say, number one is to be an example for him more than we bring up our children, we bring up ourselves. But I felt that I owed a debt of gratitude to God Almighty, especially because we waited so long and he was such a special child. The words I love, Hashem, Hashem in Hebrew means, Hashem means the name. Uh, it's really not saying God's name, it's God's most precious name, a name that we do not pronounce. So instead of pronouncing the name as it's said, we don't even say the letters. We say yud k vav k we change that also. Again, because of its specialness, because of its sanctity. So we say Hashem. And it's become a song that people have sung in different places. I've been told we know in Simcha's Torah at my synagogue. <laughs> I have a nephew who's an ox. He puts me on his shoulders. And uh, I sing the song to the whole congregation, and they all know the chorus, and they join in. It's, it, takes the, it takes the roof right off. It's beautiful. And in fact, there were, there were a family that went to Niagara Falls, and they were so amazed by the beauty of the falls, they started singing, I love Hashem. So we need to know that that's what God wants. The essence of godliness is, again, in the Shema. To love the Lord your God. And that's what he wants, like any parent. He wants to be loved. And again, I wanted to inspire my son with that idea and let him know that everything that he has, his hands, his eyes, his, his, his feet, everything about himself, all comes from God. And that we need to love and thank him for it. So again, I love Hashem. And I love Hashem, I love Hashem, I love Hashem for He's good to me. And I love Hashem, I love Hashem, I love Hashem for He's good to me. And He made And he gave me a tooth, put it 
in a booth and gave me a tongue cause he cared and gave me two feet to make me complete and a head to know which end goes in a chair and I love Hashem And he gave me a thumb, gave me two, not just one, and he said it's alright if I grow, and gave me some hair, let it grow everywhere, and he stay out of the rain and gave me a heart for to feel and gave me a school so I'd not be a fool and gave me a bris for a seal and I love Hashem Sing it with me.